Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new ZBrush tutorial. Uh, we're in ZBrush 2021, uh, but what we're going to be talking about today uh, probably will work in most versions of ZBrush, yeah? Unless yours is ancient. Okay, what are we talking about? Well, I decided to do a number of ZBrush beginner tutorials because I got requested to do so many, many times. And although there are awesome videos out there, they tend to be a bit fast for a lot of people, right? So we're gonna take it nice and slow. So if you're experienced in ZBrush, you can skip this one, right? Okay, so what's the deal? Well, I was making a board, uh, basically a piece of wood, like a, a plank, a board, and I wanted to uh, add some detail to it so it looked more like a board and less like a stretched out rectangle. And I used the Clip Curve brush to do so. So that's what I wanna show you today, right? So first of all, we need to have a board. Now, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna take this guy. We're gonna simply click on a cube. We're gonna drag it out on the canvas. We're gonna hit Shift to lock it in, uh, in the position. And then I'm gonna go up and hit Edit. And I could go into Initialize here and kind of shape the plank. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up to Make Polymesh 3D. So we can use the gizmo tool to do it. Now, the gizmo tool allows you to move, scale, and rotate. I just simply always hit the uh, W on the keyboard, which will pull up the gizmo. And then I can take that red rectangle to push it in like this, kind of give it the thickness of a board. We'll take the blue one, pull it out a little bit, and then we'll take the green one and push it in until we got something like that. Now, the reason why it looks that funky is because we're looking at orthographic mode. That's not my preference. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard, P for perspective, which gives us this. And to me, that looks a bit more natural, but that's again, personal preference. Yeah. Let's uh, make this a little bit thinner. Alrighty. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, give this some, um, subdivision because right now we're at 482 point count and that's way too low. Okay. So, um, the thing there though, is once I start to add subdivision, it's going to smooth this guy out and I'll show you. So if I hit control D, you see that's rounding off the corners and I don't really want that. Right. So we're going to undo that. We're going to go back. I'm going to go to geometry on the right here. I'm going to turn off uh, smooth here. And then I'm going to try it again. Okay. So control D and now you see that the point count is going up. We're at almost 8,000. Let's do a bit more. Let's do 126,000. All right. And you can see we still have nice sharp edges. All right. Now, um, if I want to make small notches here, uh, what I would do is I would use the clip curve brush. We have a number of brushes in ZBrush that do that clipping. This is the curve uh, type. We have more than one. Let's go into the uh, the brush menu and I can show you, okay? So I got this one selected already, but let's not do that. Let's just go in here and we'll hit B on the keyboard for the brush menu. Here you have the clip circle, the clip circle center, the clip curve, the clip rectangle, and so forth. Now we're just gonna focus on the clip curve brush only that one. Yeah. We're going to select it. And it says that it will be uh, used as the active tool once you use the control shift keys, which is true because right now you see that we got the clay brush up there. So, okay. I assume that's true. So we'll find out. So we're going to hit control and shift. And now I can go in here and I drag my pen. And as I do so, you'll see that we have a dotted line with a gradient or a shaded area at one end. The black graded area is where it's going to displace uh, material. And by displace, I mean displace and not removing. So I'll show you what this does. If we, let me do that again. If we go in here and let's say we do this, yeah? Okay. It removes a bit at the end there. Now, the thing is, it doesn't actually remove. What it does is it pushes everything back to that point. Okay, just to keep that in mind. So let's undo that. Let's go back. Okay, so we now know that if I go in here, hold on control shift and move up, I'll have that gray area, right? Let's say I want to take a little notch out here. Now I want this to be a sharp cut, if you know what I mean. Well, if you hit the alt key, 
while holding down, you see that curves. And I can hit the Alt key again and again and again. And I could do something really funky like that, right? Now, I don't want that. I want it to be a sharp cut. So I'm going to hit Control and Shift. Go in here like that, right? And then I'm going to hit the Alt key twice. So double tap it. So one, two. And when I do that, I get this very sharp corner. Now, when I let that go, you see that it cut into the material. Now, it's a bit rough because the poly count is a bit low, but let's just uh, bump that up a little bit more, right? Let's go back, we'll get rid of that one. We'll bump it up to 500K, that's fine. Now, let's rotate our board, something like this, and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna hold down Control Shift. We're going to drag in like so. We're going to hit Alt twice. So double tap. Let's drag it out like this. And there you go. Which will give you a cut in your board like that. You can also go in here and cut off the corners. So just to hit Control and Shift. And go in here and knock off that corner. Uh, Control Shift. Go in here. Knock off that corner. Maybe you want to have another cut somewhere in here. So control shift, go in here. Uh, let's go, ahead. hang on, let's do, whoops. Let's do this angle right here, like this. We're gonna hit Alt twice, one, two, go out. Okay, you get the idea, yeah? So what if you make a selection that is not the selection you intended, right? So we're gonna go into Control Shift. We're gonna drag this line right here. Let's do something like this. And then we're gonna double tap on the Alt key. One, two, to get a sharp cut, yeah? Let's say I'm not happy with position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the space bar so I can move this around, right? Move it to, let's say here, and there you have it. Just a few options there, okay? So yeah, that's uh, how that works. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. Uh, it's uh, short, it's for beginners. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy it, I will make more. And if not, I won't, okay? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Now I'm a big dog, yeah. I pull up on the block in a big car, yeah.